In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to add brands on WooCommerce. Adding brands to your WooCommerce store adds a layer of professionalism and functionality that your customers are sure to appreciate. Whether you're running a large e-commerce store or a small boutique site, organizing your products by brands can significantly enhance the shopping experience. Let's dive into how you can do this in a few simple steps. First things first, you'll need to start at the heart of your website, the WordPress dashboard. This is where all the magic happens from content creation to plugin management. If you're not already logged in, go ahead and do that now. Once you're in, navigate to the plugin section. You're looking for an option labeled add new plugin. This is your gateway to extending the functionality of your WordPress site in this case by adding brands to your WooCommerce store. Now here's where you need to be a bit specific. You're searching for a plugin that allows you to manage brands within WooCommerce. So in the search bar, type in brand for WooCommerce. This will bring up a list of plugins designed for this very purpose. The exact name may vary as developers update and release new plugins. So look for one that is highly rated and well suited to your needs. When the search results come back, you're looking for the button that says install now on the plugin that best matches your search. This step is as straightforward as it sounds. By clicking this button, WordPress will automatically install the plugin to your site. It's a bit like downloading an app on your smartphone, but for your website. After the installation process is complete, which should only take a few moments, your next move is to activate the plugin. Finding the activate button in the same spot where install now used to be. Clicking this button brings the plugin to life on your site, integrating it with your existing WooCommerce setup. Once activated, it's time to configure the settings of your new brand plugin. Often after activating a plugin, you'll be redirected to its settings page. If not, look for a settings link under the plugin name in your installed plugins list or a new tab in your WooCommerce settings. Speaking of WooCommerce settings, that's precisely where you need to head next. In your WordPress dashboard, find the WooCommerce tab. This is typically located on the left hand side. Navigate through the options until you find settings. Click on it and you'll be brought to a page where you can adjust every nook and cranny of your WooCommerce store. Within the WooCommerce settings, you're looking for a new option that has appeared thanks to your newly activated plugin. This option will be labeled something along the lines of brands. This new section is where you can start the exciting process of adding and managing brands in your store. And there you have it. By following these steps, you've successfully added the functionality to manage brands on your WooCommerce site. From here, the specific details on adding and managing individual brands will depend on the plugin you've chosen. Most will allow you to add brand names, logos, and even detailed descriptions, all of which enhance the browsing experience for your customers. Remember, a well-organized store is a shopper's delight. By taking the time to set up and manage brands, you're not just tidying up your website, you're also making it easier for customers to find what they're looking for, encouraging them to come back time and time again. Don't forget to regularly check for updates to your plugins and WooCommerce itself to keep your site running smoothly and securely. And as always, experiment with different settings and configurations to find what works best for your store and your customers. That wraps up our guide on how to add brands on WooCommerce. This addition can significantly elevate the customer experience on your e-commerce site, making it easier for your customers to shop by their favorite brands. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more tips on making the most of your WooCommerce store. Thanks for watching.